Carbohydrate fraction is, for a dairy ration formulation is, is a critical component of in formulating rations for high producing cows. One way to look at carbohydrate rations uh, or component fractions is to look at the uh, cellular structure of the plants that animals consume. There's a component that contains the uh, cell contents, the protein, fat, starch, pectins, and sugars, and then there's the actual cell wall that surrounds uh, uh, the cell sap. And in the cell wall, we have the acid detergent uh, fiber, which contains the cellulose, the lignin, and we also have a component of the NDF, as well as the hemicellulose. So these are components that uh, formulate the um, various components of a cell in various plants. And of course, plants differ in the degree to which there is ADF, NDF, fat, protein, etc. And we use various chemical processes in the lab to, to look at them. Another way to look at this is to look at the various uh, carbohydrate fractions from a, a, a different perspective. We have the whole plant we develop, divided into the cell contents, and then we also divide it into the cell wall or the structural components. Um, when we look at the uh, components that are in the cell contents, uh, we actually measure this by the neutral detergent soluble fiber. Uh, this is composed of the organic acids, the sugars, the starches, and the fructans. Then we have a component that measures the actual structural components of the cell. This includes the cellulose as well as the ash that's also in the cellulose, the hemicellulose, and then a component that consists of pectins, glucans, and uh, galactins. Uh, a component that measures the neutral detergent soluble fiber includes the fructans and the pectins and, and glucans. By taking varying differences of these fiber measures, we can determine the various fractions that are in the, um, in the various um, uh, pools. So by taking uh, the difference of these various fractions, the actual individual pools can be calculated by, uh, by subtraction.